Hi, my name is Jens Hauser. I'm a Paris and Copenhagen-based art curator, media and art theoretician. Welcome to Art and Technology. Now we meet three contemporary artists addressing the theme of bio-risk. My name is Antoine Bertin. I see my practice as a way to orchestrate things around sound. I felt the need to respond to the situation through making music with the virus. My name is Annika Yi and I'm an artist. I don't consider myself a bio artist. I made an exhibition called You Can Call Me F and it was loosely inspired by the Ebola virus outbreak and feeling this kind of very palpable tension and fear in the city. So meditation on SARS-CoV-2 is an audio composition that was made using the genetic material of the coronavirus. Sonification is the art of transforming data into sound. With the RNA of the virus, I have a text. <laughs> so each letter becomes a note and creates a melody. And then this virtual score is then injected into instruments. These little instruments react in different way to the data. And so that's what I'm interested in, is to come from the data and, and transform it into an experience that can be uh, very human. I'm Heather Dewey Hypework. I'm a transdisciplinary artist. Lovesick is a literal love virus. It is a retrovirus that was engineered to insert a gene for oxytocin into human DNA. Oxytocin is a hormone that's associated with love and bonding. And lovesick is a kind of framework, thinking, could we engineer ourselves to be more loving, to be more connected physically? Artists today can be considered as indicators of the crucial techno-scientific questions of our time and to create poetic and aesthetic experiences. If a visitor walked into my exhibition, he would first probably experience an aroma coming from this massive petri dish that is growing a hundred females, microbial samples. And you would see these five quarantine tents. I created a smell that was synthesized from the 100 microbial samples from my female network. And that had a very pungent aroma. I wanted to create this very uh, dark compression of what it feels like to be quarantined. So a lot of what I've been doing with this project is thinking, how can I make this almost invisible thing visible to people? And so part of that involves sharing microscope images from the experiments that we did, and I've been developing this narrative world. So I imagine people breaking open these glass vials and pouring the virus into their mouth and incubating it and chanting together the letters, the proteins of oxytocin. Artists can help us to actually make the connection between the actual health crisis of the virus and environmental concerns that can bring these different fields of expertise together and make them tangible, tangible in works that can be experienced by people concretely. The feedback I got from people is uh, usually is that it was surprisingly relaxing to listen to the virus. It makes me very happy that, you know, by listening to this virus, engaging with it, bringing it closer in many ways, that you can get some sort of therapy from it. This virus is not technically alive, and yet it is part of a vast living system. In fact, it is embedded in our DNA. You know, 8% of our genome is virus. And I want to foreground that. I have a deep concern that the distance that has come through the coronavirus sticks. So lovesick is uh, a way of Kind of tackling this vision of a future in which rather than being more disconnected we're actually more connected. We have seen how artists use biomedia in order to shape our understanding how we can relate to nature differently. We question whether humanity is really at risk in part three. It's becoming clearer and clearer that the situation we are here now has some roots in our relationship with the world. Hyundai Motor Connecting art and technology. Mm -hmm.